Hello, my queens, my coaches. I've got a really, really awesome special guest here with me today. Ranjini Sanjay is coming to you from India. She's a powerhouse and you are gonna really love this conversation. Thank you, Ranjini. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for taking the time to do this. Thank you, Fatima. You are amazing. And I love ah, you. I love you too. I love you too. So tell our ladies here, the coaches that are listening to you, a little bit about who you are, you know, uh, in your personal life. You're a mom, you're a, you're a wife, you're a sister, you're a daughter. You know, who you are in your background, some of the programs you've done in the past, so we can, you know, we can see what a powerhouse you really are. Okay. All right. So I live with my husband and three children in India, and I am a software engineer, if, if it is to, uh, to know my qualification. So I'm a software engineer, and I am uh, I'm a South Indian. I live in the South, uh, I belong to the South side of India, and I'm, I'm married to a person who is not a South Indian. And he is a doctor and he is uh, from a North Indian family. So it's an inter-caste inter -caste marriage. And uh, personally, I, uh, my parents uh, are, my mother is an educator. She's been a teacher. She's been an administrator. So this teaching, uh, you know, my passion for teaching, learning and development, I think it runs in my blood. And I have a brother, younger brother, and he lives in Atlanta right now. So he's again a software engineer. So that's a little bit about me. And uh, I have done many personal development courses, especially with Landmark Education. And I've done my team management leadership program, my introduction leadership program. And it's been, uh, I wanted to share this with you, Fatima, like, uh, because this was a good opportunity. Like, my mom has always hated me doing personal development programs. And, you know, uh, recently, just recently, this week, she sent me a message in the FB Live challenge they have given me. She shared that I love what you're sharing. I love what you're creating. I'm so inspired by, you know, uh, uh, what you're, you know, what you're speaking. And she started to appreciate it. So it's been five, six years that I've been working on myself because there was always this gap. Though I have a perfect family, I perfect upbringing, but there was something missing. I would always ask this question like, is that all for me in my life? And yes, I became an entrepreneur. I quit my job and yes, and that's it. Five years. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm learning. And now I'm with you in Million Stars. Thank you so much. Wow. What a rich, beautiful history. And, you know, you're, you're not a spring chicken. You've been around. You've done self-development. You have educated yourself. You've got a degree. And so it's not like you're just coming to me in your early 20s, not understanding. And I want the ladies to really just get that you are an experienced, mature woman. So how did we meet? Do you remember how did you come into my world and how we met? Yes, yes, yes. I remember <laughs> you. Uh, uh, I remember you because I wanted to write a book and your name, we met in team management leadership program. You're from Canada team, or I don't know which team you actually belong, but I was team India. And that's, there was a global group that I got connected and I, you know, uh, the queen thing always caught me, Fatima. Like always, no. You you have been you have been personified. Like like, how can a woman be like queen? That would be my question. <laughs> like, <laughs> how could you love yourself so much? And I didn't know about you till I met you uh, in the last workshop. The background that the 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 background that you have come in. I was like blown away and I had literally Googled you before joining the workshop. Like, oh my God, I miss so much about you. It was all that, you know, a uh, happy person, you know, uh, that person who the, you know, even a small conversation would charge anybody. So, but then that was amazing, inspirational. So that's how we met. Yeah. Even when my oh. boys were growing up, I was using the word queen. 
And from the time my children were young, I would say to them, uh, two queens don't belong in the same kitchen. So the moment you get engaged, we're gonna find you a place and right, you're just gonna be out there. And so when my son did get engaged, he reminded me, he was like, two queens don't belong in the same kitchen, right? And I'm like, thank God, thank God. I don't want you living with me. I don't want you to know you're sleeping at three o'clock in the morning or afternoon and socks everywhere. And I, so we went out after he got engaged and I looked for a nice apartment for him. And I said, I will help you with your, your, your deposit and your first and last month's rent. And the day of his wedding, I took them both and I dropped them at their new place. And I was like, enjoy your life, invite me for tea, you know, that type of thing. So I agree with that. I agree. So let's talk about, uh, you know, you touched on your life before Million Stars. And now that you're inside of Million Stars and you went through the launch and you're with the women inside of it, tell us a little bit about the experience and you can touch on the membership portal, the modules you know, the accountability, strategic advisory, like everything inside mindset calls, tapping, the camaraderie, the queenship. Tell us a little bit about that because you've experienced global leadership programs and now you're inside, you know, you can see what's happening behind the scenes. Give us your experience about that, Renjini. Tell the women how it's really been. So it's it's I finished my you know team management leadership program I think a month before your workshop and um, I've been a busy woman till that point like a lot of accountability a lot of because you have that kind of work and you no know, structure in your coaching program and training program that I was pretty my calendar was free and the pandemic thanks to pandemic the business is also closed and I'm with my children at home cooking sleeping, eating, and uh, really feeling like, no, what next? What else? Because now even the pandemic has even you know, constrained you to do, even you have amazing ideas, there are constraints now. So yes, uh, doing the workshop, like it actually, you know, you, you use the word, no, socks off, blow, blow the socks off. It was like that for me, like, oh my God, this is so amazing, and you know? your energy you know it actually pulled me into your team and i recreated my dream because it was all like uh, like no a solo leader no i want to do something i want to do something and i don't i don't have a team at the back to back me but when it came to million stars i really am seeing a team and a team of women who have you no know, very serious intention about a commitment towards their life and what are they up to with their dreams and that actually connects like you no know, that actually holds us powerful as a team team of queens so it's like it's like that i experience being a queen even my children call me queen because you no know, uh, that uh, uh, because that kind of uh, structure is around and the vocabulary is there energy is there and million stars with when it comes to the modules amazing you have done an amazing job fatima like my children they are no they're so scared of your voice i mean she listening to us also can she see us also <laughs> so but then uh, so that that respect the honor that you have in my family you know my children they're like okay she's your ma'am okay <laughs> So that's so lovely and you no, know, I am very serious when I'm doing the modules like don't disturb me I have to do my assignment and it is exhaustive it is very much you know someone who has no background of even education of whatever it is like if you think that you're it's not about education it's about knowing things we are so much of uh, knowledge hungry even if it is like no I don't know it's it's exhaustive you, it's, it's still so exhaustive that it is so difficult to finish also and we have to do it again and again till it settles in us and you've done like no I can really see how you bring that intentionality in in your training modules like it are it is so specific and you no know, accurate to the point that you just need to follow that without asking too many things and it's very simple simple to understand so that's about the modules and yes, accountability, the uh, every, every week you Monday, you come up with a new challenge, a new thing, 
new thing to share with us. So we feel like, okay, our training is going on. It's like though we are dealing with our own things in our life, but our training is going on. You are challenging us. You are coming with new things that can you know, add value to the coaching that is going on. It's not like it is tried and tested formula and you taste it and you do what you're it's there. You're bringing new things like what is available right now, what's working right now. So that is brought forth. And yes, we have challenges like each person in the team also, queens also, we have our personal challenges. Then how we are holding each other up. You know, even uh, it, it is not that we talk every day, but yes, the way you, you, we listen to the vision that they have, we listen to the commitment that they have. And so it is for me, the way people listen to me, you know, they, uh, they hold me high. And yeah. this, I love, this, I love that. I love how the Queens listen to each other. There's a sisterhood that they listen to you as the queen leader in what you're doing. And you don't get this listening at home. No. You don't get this kind of honor, privilege, where you are in your community. Mm. And you, and even if you want to talk about your vision and mission, it will sound crazy. Oh, women, you want to do this? No. There is a, there is a different listening the way the family and community comes around. No matter how much educated you are, you are a woman. It defines and that is something so, you know, uh, something so close to me, like even being so much educated, we are subjected to the experiences that being a woman, you have to go through this. Absolutely. I, I agree with that 100%. Yeah. So I, uh, and what I uh, found very clearly is like human beings are same everywhere. Like I have met people from 10 different countries in this uh, group in this academy and we have the same human problem same 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 i'm like it's the same thing the yeah. same emotion the same yep. struggle the same pain it, it's yeah. just that our color of our skin is different we yeah. speak a different language or maybe with an accent yep that's it that's it that's it but inside the struggle is very very similar i agree i agree and you get that support, that leadership, the community, the love that you wouldn't get anywhere else. Talk about accountability. Talk about monthly accountability, weekly accountability. You know, me. Yes, yes. Because being in this leadership uh, coaching training programs already, accountability is the place where you see that there is a progress. Because if there's no accountability, no, you really not, don't know what is going on. But a week on week check. Where, where you are and it's definitely it's not about competition it's about being your best every day and how you can better yourself and there's no like no i am doing better there's no what is a gold medal silver medal but it's about making progress making a consistent progress and where you want to go because i see each queen has a different you know they are all sitting on gold and there, when I listen to their lives, I'm like, oh my God, you know, they, it's a treasure that they have. And there are so many women who need them. And whether it's anxiety or whether it's empowerment or whether it's money. And uh, you know, each one is a package. And you really can't compare. And accountability is a place where you can measure the progress. Absolutely. And it is important. Now I've and, been, and I know that some of the other uh, women have been in programs where they bought the program and they're like, okay, here you go. See you later. Thanks so much for paying me. Talk about the office hours. Talk about like me showing up for you and what's that been like for you? The office hours is a blessing actually. Once in a week we get to see each other, talk to each other. And it's not about a status check. It's about hearing you out, like listening, like what, what's going on? What's your question? Where are you struggling? Where, what is working and what is not working? That's the place to begin. And then, yes, when you start these conversations with your sister queens, things open up. Even if you don't want to talk about it, you see an opening for new opportunity, new, new way to do things. 
Yes, and even if you are let down, you have a team to hold you. So it's not a status check, like no attendance kind of thing. It's, it's, it's a pure, powerful sharing. And when we come together in the office hours, it's, it's, it's a, like, no, uh, it's like a prayer room for me. No, it's so sacred. Like we have all this common intentions coming together and we are not letting each other down or we are not le even letting each other go. Like it's okay to be ordinary. We are extraordinary. So that sense is created. That, you know, that discipline is brought inside us. No, I'm not, I'm not going to be ordinary. You know, when I see you, when I see other people, no, my challenge is okay, it's there. But you no, know, it's my word to my training. It's my word to my commitment, my, uh, my dream, my vision, my business. And it matters. It does. I love it. I love it. And I love how everyone gets together. Sometimes somebody will come on and I'll say, do you have a question? And she'll say, no, no, I just came to be here, to be in this energy. And then two minutes later, we'll go around. She's like, oh, I have a question. Or someone else asked the question and it's like, wow, we're each other's clearings of, I didn't think of that, but that was such a fantastic question. So an opportunity once a week to actually do that. So let's talk about um, what was it like for you to do the branding with archetype session with me? Tell me about that experience. That is again, I know, blowing the socks off kind of experience. Uh, yeah, it's like, uh, especially with me, I was so feeling hopeless with myself. Though being, you know, like people relate to you, like you're such a talented person and how you can you know, and sometimes even I think like how I can abuse myself with you no know, that kind of uh, hopelessness. But branding with archetypes was like a mirror. You now it shows that bright and clear who you are, you know, without any flaws. And I could meet myself, my you know what to say, you no, know, your your core values, your core values. And it's so uh, like. We, we run in this race of you know, day to day activities and uh, past, future, and this success and failure thing that we forget to even look at our values that actually are the light inside us. And we, we disown it. And branding with archetypes was like, like, and I so much own my archetype. Like, whenever I, I, whenever I say I'm a humanitarian, like, I'm so proud that I'm a humanitarian. And I, you know, I, whatever I'm doing is for everyone that works for everyone. And I'm so proud that who I am. What, what did it open up for you, knowing your archetypes and using the branding cards and understanding who your client is and what she's looking for? And what did that open up for you? Yeah, so branding is, is, is the like, it's a like first thing like anybody should do. Even I have put it in my coaching program also. Because that's the place to begin for where you are, the value you have. And then you, know, you can design the whole business and service around your values because that is what is your reflection, your self-expression and your service will speak about these values. And my coaching, my business, uh, whatever, even the words that I'm using, I'm very specific that it goes with my branding because that is the word my client is looking and listening to that word that vocabulary, they get connected because that is what they want. And um, my clients, I have a lot of clarity that who I'm going to serve. Who is that person I'm going to serve? It's like my, uh, it's like, it's like, no, you, you bake a cake, but cake is, no, you, there are so many flavors, so many coaching programs, but mine is, no, it's like, it's so super specific. <laughs> it's yeah. not for everybody. And because it's me, it's my value, my self-expression, my experience, my pain, whatever I've been through in my life, it, it has got all that flavor inside that. And yes, there are people who really need this. And I can really target, I can really target who they are. I'm not in a sea of clients. Like, let me show, like, you can take my program, you can take my program. No, I have a very specific audience. And I can, I can shoot for that. I really don't have to stress myself. So I think it's so, you know, that's so powerful because you don't have to sit there with the dictionary and go, which words do I use? You know exactly <laughs> the words to use. You know exactly who your client is. 
what are the words she is looking for, what colors to use, you know, and it's, it just makes everything so easy, easy, easy. So, and I see it in your videos. I see it like, you're really out there, girl. You just run. You're on that horse and you're like, I'm riding this. Every time I give a challenge, you're out there. And I'm like, wow, so on point, so focused and really a huge acknowledgement like on your own growth and expansion and fearlessness. Like, girl, you are so fearless and I love that so much. So here's your final question. Um, you know, there's a woman out there listening to this and she has maybe some doubt or fear and she doesn't know what's going to come on the other side when she crosses the bridge and enters our community what would you say to her as she's watching this right now and she's deciding whether she wants to join or not our community of million stars academy i i want to share like no uh, uh i in fact i shared in one of the fb lives also three reasons why we don't get to our goals that we have set for ourselves is one is your mindset and second thing is your environment and third thing is your committed action so i've been sharing this for past one week and if you are someone who have a dream and it's just if it is not just a dream it's like something you want like yes this has my name and in reality this i want in this world to happen then this is the place because you have all of it. You have a mindset training. You have somebody to hold your mindset powerful, intentional focus. That's team, uh, the million stars team and Fatima will you know, always make sure that you are not losing your way and focus, raise the focus. That's the mindset training that we have. Second thing is the environment, the queenhood, the sisters that we are around that we, because we partner in each other's vision. We partner in each other's dream to come true. And we're so happy. We're the first person to know, like show up and encourage, appreciate. And know we, we, we love the progress they are making. And we, it's like children, our children growing up, right? We are so excited when they take a new step, do a new thing. It's like that. And such is, an, uh, you know, such is the love for me also. Like I am also being lifted up. So the environment matters. And third thing is your committed action. Without action, there's no result. It's only, it's only uh, nice uh, ideas, nice feelings. And it, it's, it, it is only there in your head. It, it's not there as a reality. Like if my children wants to know what are you up to in this year's program, I, they know clearly like what I'm going to accomplish at the end of the year. They're really clear like where I'm going, what is my focus, and they partner with me. Because they're seeing actions. They know this is my lifetime and this is my meeting time. They don't disturb me. So committed action. So Fatima will always push you just the edge of your comfort zone. Go next. Go next. You need that because you can't do it on your own. You can't have that no alone sitting and driving yourself crazy for crazy goals it's not a going for it so you we need a system and million stars has got all of it you have a powerful coach you have a powerful team and uh, a structure of modules meetings catch-ups uh, action items challenges you have everything to push you forward each each week you see the program and i think everybody will say that each member will say so this is for you if you want that dream to come as a reality it's just not a feeling this is for million stars thank you so much ranjini well queens you heard it ranjini said go all you have to do is self-register at millionstarsacademy.com and if you've got questions book a call get on the phone with me go to speakwithfatima.com i promise you there's no uh arm twisting or convincing here because we want to make sure that it's a great fit for you and the team. Okay. So just go right ahead and click the button and join. Renjani, thank you so much for your time. I love you so much. I'm so proud of who you're becoming every, every single day. It is so powerful and extraordinary. And that's who you are. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Take care. Bye-bye.